Welcome to beautiful Hollywood, California, the home of sunshine and traffic. Non-stop traffic from all sides and cops, police. Welcome to today's Fight Journal. All right, guys, we're at the Ward Kovalev 2 Preska Conference kicking off this rematch happening June 17th. At the Mandalay Bay, we're here at the Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel. Finally made it. Traffic was killing me, but here's the scene right now, if you guys can see. Some people waiting out here for Ward and Kovalev. Kovalev just passed by. Uh, let me go ahead and give you a look of what the press conference room looks like. I'm here with Larry the legend. Oh, he's a legend right here. Larry, Larry, how many signatures do you have? Today? No, no, like in your collection. I don't know, about eight or nine hundred, something like that. Eight or nine hundred signatures. That, how many years is that? Uh, starting about 2000, I started getting gloves in about 2009. Before that, when I worked at Marriott, I used to get, it, get them signed on Marriott papers and stations and stuff like that. But now, people introduced me to getting, uh, uh, I got boxing cards too at home. Come by my house sometime. Oh, definitely. You know? Eight or nine hundred gloves. Yeah. This is Larry the Legend. He's, he's he, does, legend, he does not sell his gloves. He's just a huge boxing fan. Give him a break. Right. Wait, wait, so who do you got here, Larry? In this fight? Yeah, no, no, right here. That's uh, just Sergi Kovalev. To Larry. You should have told him to put to Larry the legend. Here's another one here. Who's this right here? Who's that? No, if you ask Kovalev again. That's Kovalev? Get... What? Yeah. These are all Kovalev? Kovalev, yeah. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Got these wooden doors here. Here you go. That's what the room looks like. Ward Kovalev. Presser about to go down. Media already assembled. Here for the event. Camera crews. Various people seated down. You got the belts. All of the belts right here. Strap season. You got the WBC, WBO. IBF, even though I think this one's a replica. I don't know about that one. But uh, those are the belts that Andre Ward has at this point that he won off of Kovalev in a controversial decision. Here's the podium where both these uh, people were going to be sitting down. Got the crusher, Sergey Kovalev, his promoter, Kathy Duva. Here you got Dre, along with James Prince and Tony Walker. Big room today, expecting a lot of media. Here we are with El Mero Mero, <laughs> Jose Luis, El Rey de los Firmas, the king of the signatures right here, and his brother. <laughs> what do you think of the rematch? ¿Qué piensas de la revancha? Bueno, pienso que, que va a ser una pelea de vuelta cerrada, pero yo pienso que esta vez gana Kovalev. Really? Yeah. He just said it's going to be a close fight, but he thinks Kovalev's going to win. ¿Por qué? Why? ¿Por qué? Porque la primera se la robaron. Yeah? yeah. They, he said that they robbed him from the first. ¿Por qué se la, la robaron? Bueno, porque la, se ganó los últimos rounds Kovalev, pero este, Andrew Ward, los primeros los ganó 6-7 y la caída. Y, este, y los demás los ganó War, ganó War como del 9 para las 12. Pero antes, este, Kovalev ganó no, todos los rounds. He yeah. said uh, Kovalev won all the rounds uh, early on, and then Ward won 8 through 8, 9, 10, but then the, the final two rounds, um, Sergey Kovalev won. So he thinks that uh, Sergey Kovalev won the fight. You gonna get, get those signatures, Doc? ¿Vas a dar esos videos? No, 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 no. <laughs> Pero más al rato el King Henry, ¿no? Ya, yeah, no. <laughs> We're going to go to King Henry in Inglewood. You guys from Inglewood, you know what's up. Sam, Sam. Oh, it's Sam's. He wants to go to Sam's. Si no trabajo, voy a ir para allá. 
There he is, the man of the hour, Andre Ward. In the house, it's the arriving press conference Julie, about to start. We see Sergey Kovalev right over here doing an interview. Three or four people in his hometown recognized Sergey, came to Sergey and said, We hope this time you're not going to leave to judges. You got robbed. You got to kick his ass. That was in his hometown. We'll see you guys on June 17th. They said that uh, I should do a proof something more and a lot. Uh, for who? For them? No. I already approved for myself and for anybody in the boxing world that I came from nothing. And no one at all as a professional boxer and as an uh, amateur boxer. I never been in the World Championship, I never been in Olympic Games. But I came here in the United States and I got right now this level where I am right now. Believe, you, believe in yourself and you will get everything what you would. And I believe in myself and I will get my belts back June 17th. Believe me and be sure I will finish your boxing career. Thank you very much for your attention. In this fight for me, I didn't have to take this fight. This fight is for you, the fans. This fight is for the boxing community because this is the fight that everybody clamored about. And at the end of the day, where I come from, it's about showing up. It ain't about all that talking. It sells tickets, it sells pay-per-views, you'll get a couple headlines. But if you watch my career, we don't say nothing. We just go get it done. And June 17th, it's gonna be no different. Reality check. Here we go. Both Andre Ward, Sergey Kovalev, their third face-off, ending this three-city press tour that we saw. Both competitors go to New York, Oakland, and now here in Los Angeles. Sergey Kovalev, the only defeat of his career coming to the hands of Andre Ward, he lifted Sergey Kovalev's three title belts as we see the face off right now.
Look at the little guy right here. Finally, finally working. It's finally look, look, look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, look, he got his little, his little child seat right here. You know. What are we doing here, Tino? We're editing the full press conference to get it up for you guys as ASAP. And we're putting the last finishing touches on this. Uh, I'd say started. I started right there. It's an intense press conference, huh? Super intense, super good. I'm telling you, these guys do not fucking like each other. They don't like each other. And I can tell, Sergey, you're sincere. Esteban right here. Get, get in this. Steven. Helps out. <laughs> Vegan muscle. <laughs> uh, hey, but, but the real question, Tino. Them short ribs, dog. Them short ribs today. They were good. <laughs> First one's here. And as always, last one's to leave. Yeah, check this out. Like, little Tino got a gift right here. Hold on, hold on. Let's, let's, let's see. You got a... What is that? A sign? It's a sign, but it's not signed. <laughs> it's a little welcome gift that he got. That's I'll like his give, little his ribbon. I'll give a free in and out meal. If you stand outside the 101 freeway and you do a dance like this, my treat, anything you want, super size, hidden menu. So if you guys saw the other the the fight journal that I did in New York for the Golovkin fight. Conor McGregor and Sergey Kovalev were there together and uh, I filmed it and they were talking. A lot of people felt and said that they were having an argument. From my perspective, it, it looked like they were just talking and, and Conor wanted to see Conlon fight and he told Sergey, like, hey, bro, like, let me watch this fight. So here today in LA, we wanted to ask him, but Sergey didn't really give us much. Um, I asked him a question. Tino asked him the question, and this is actually the response that he gave us. Sergey, what happened with Connor when you guys were talking uh, in uh, New York? We gotta go. That you're, that you're a good guy. Okay. Thank you, man. Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry. Man. Okay. Are you going to politics? Yeah, no, boxing. No, no, no. Stay with boxing. Yeah, he likes politics. I can pull everything out. No, I really don't want politics. You go this time, like USA versus this time. Right. Right. Yeah. 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 This is not the way it's to the floor, man. I know. It has nothing to do with politics or religion, yeah. you know? Right, right, right. Well, yeah, it has. I'm going to do something. Sure, Danikas. Go on. Sergey, what, what happened with uh, Connor? Not your good guy. <laughs> are, you, are you a fan of his? If you're ever visiting California, this is a must. In and out burger. Don't let anybody ever tell you that Five Guys has the best burgers. White Castle. Fat burger's good, but not. not fat good. burger, nah. In and out. Nothing beats it. Gotta make a quick pit stop right here before we go and uh, do some more editing. Long, long day. Mm. Look at this beautiful burger. Just as advertised in TV or wherever the hell you see it, what you see is literally what you get. Unlike McDonald's, you know, it looks like shit. Dude, that's half your size, bro. Fuck it, it's delicious. Half <laughs> your weight. That's a third of your weight. We're gonna put on some size. Look at, look at this beast right here. Look at this. Nah. I don't get out of my way. Let me eat my burger. Are they crackers? Let's eat. Look at all these tourists. Dude, look at this. this is fucking LA for you. Look at this weird guy right here. Look. <laughs> uh, it's time for some food for me now. Tino got his in and out. Check out Halal Guys. You folks tuning in from New York, you guys know what this is all about, but they just opened one over here in K Town. Let's uh, see what they got. Here's the K Town location, right? that we got over here they got some special sauce this white sauce but I don't, I don't know I, I don't ever sauce. trust the white sauce dog you know what I'm saying 
Uh, I heard this shit is really hot. Super the Halal Guys hot sauce. I can't fuck with hot sauce right now though because I got a okay, peptid okay. ulcer. Now let's see what we got here. It's like they're sell chicken. I don't know. What, what is this? The, the bowl? Right I don't know. So you got chicken. Rice. You got pita, uh, bread. pita bread, salad, and I think you got rice underneath the chicken. So uh, I'm gonna have some pretty That's good stuff. Fries, yeah, no, it's a lot of fries. It's not a lot of food, but um, bon appetit. How is it? They put a good amount of pepper in it, actually. Pepper's actually pretty good. So glamorous, this job, you guys. So glamorous. Oh, I'm tired. Been up and at it for nine hours. Editing one more, and then I'm actually gonna go ahead and edit this fight journal for you guys. But uh, look, look, look at all this stuff we got up, look. How many videos? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine videos plus the one I'm exporting right now. And then plus the fight journal. It never ends. My mind is fried, guys. Need a break. Been editing for too long. Man, this stuff takes a toll on you, dude. Like, you don't think so, but you're there. That computer screen just fries your brain. And if you worked an office job, you gotta know that when you're staring at a screen for hours on end, it fries your brain, man. So, I'm going home. I'm gonna take a break, watch a movie, and probably edit some more, get some more content up for you guys in the morning but uh for now bid you guys adieu have a good night thanks for watching